Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what blessings, abundance, and manifestations are coming your way, okay? We're going to start off by picking cards from the Numinous deck to see exactly what the energy here is. Um, we got love, okay? I am seeing a lot of really positive movement in your love life. For a lot of you, if you have been manifesting love in whatever way, shape, or form, you are going to be getting exactly what you want, okay? This literally says beauty, harmony, romance, charm. I feel like, you know, there's so many people that are into you and you're going to be with the person that, you know, you actually want to be with. I am seeing you are the type of person that gets a lot of validation. You have a lot of people that are into you that want their shot with you. But I'm Seeing that you're going to be attracting the exact person that you want and this person's going to be really secure being around you sometimes um i'm just gonna say it like if you have a lot of admirers and a lot of people that are into you sometimes people are scared to date you because they're just like oh my gosh that's too many options there's gonna be so many people that are into them um but i feel like there is someone that's coming in that's going to be secure with that, okay? And, like, that's not going to be a problem for them. I am seeing that for a lot of you, maybe you are still stuck on someone that you had a thing with in the past. And um, I feel like if that's the case, you are manifesting this person back, okay? But this also says, like, sensuality, luxury, wealth. Yeah, I do feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be coming into a lot of monetary abundance. What I'm seeing is embrace that, okay? I'm also seeing your relationship with money is going to improve. If you want abundance and good things in your life, you have to stop saying things like, oh, I hate money. Money is the root cause of all evil, this or that. No, you have to just tell yourself, no, it's safe for me to have money. It's safe for me to have love. It's safe for me to keep love. It's safe for me to keep money. We also got second house assets, okay? Yeah, this actually does have to do with money. I'm seeing something about um, buying more assets. Maybe for some of you, this could be like a car, house, real estate. But there is some big manifestation that you've been manifesting for that is coming your way. You're going to have the finances to manifest exactly what you want. I am definitely seeing like, you know, you're going to feel really worthy of this. And there's a lot of um, manifestations coming to fruition in the material world. Okay, I really like that. This says like security, um, aesthetics. I am seeing that you are you're manifesting like exactly exactly what you want in the way that you want and i'm seeing love and money those two aspects of your life are going to be thriving okay especially in the next two weeks to two months expect a lot of movement this is a timeless reading so this is going to apply um, to whenever you're watching this, okay? We also got Ascendant Outlook. Yeah, so this is about changing your outlook on life, you know, being more positive. Um, this says like mission statement, worldview. Okay, yeah, I am definitely seeing um, something that's really gonna get you to all your goals, dreams, desires is your mindset, okay? So, um, you know, if you script, affirm, visualize, keep doing what you're doing to manifest because I'm seeing it is coming um, to fruition. And this is also about having a positive mindset when something is going wrong in your life. Like, let's say the 3D is not showing you what you want. All you have to do is tell yourself, nope, it's always showing you what I want. I am the version of myself that has everything. I have always gotten everything. Okay, you can definitely check out my Law of Assumption playlist for more affirmations and success stories. But I am definitely seeing a lot of abundance and good things coming your way. We also got Capricorn, the boss. Yeah, I am definitely seeing um, a lot of abundance coming in your work life. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of you're getting promoted. A lot of higher ups are going to be talking to you. I feel like you're going to be meeting up with your bosses and higher ups, higher level management. And I feel like, you know, they've been taking note of all your hard work and they want to give you a raise or promotion or some sort of accolades or shout out. Okay, so um, keep doing you keep, you know, going after your goals because you're manifesting like the best okay you are manifesting your desired salary with the desired benefits okay maybe for some of you you could be moving jobs if that's what you want but if you don't I f i'm seeing that you're going to be growing in your career okay but if there is a job that you've been eyeing that you want um i'm seeing you're going to be getting that job and you're going to be getting it fast okay i'm seeing that like um, a lot of financial abundance is coming your way. It's just a matter of you having a positive outlook and, you know, saying secure and worthiness affirmations. I'm worthy of abundance. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of money. Okay. And that will really help a lot. We also got Leo here. Yeah. Ooh, I'm seeing it. Now is the time for you to step into your inner Leo energy. Be confident. Okay. Be confident in yourself. People love that. It's okay to be down and have insecurities at times, but I am definitely seeing that you're glowing, you're magnetic, you're radiant. You're going to be attracting a lot of people People into your life you're really social you know a lot of people love being around you being around your energy you're loving you're playful you're you know your self-confidence is going to be increasing which i'm seeing is going to be helping with your manifestations as well yeah we also got moon okay so this is the time for you to address your feelings be true with yourself what are you feeling what do you want to feel um you know manifesting your dream life isn't 
isn't necessarily about pushing down your feelings, but giving yourself that inner validation, okay? Like, it is so easy for me to um, get what I want. I always have gotten exactly what I wanted in the way that I wanted it. Um, you know, just kind of even like mothering yourself. This literally says like femininity, okay? Like, how can you show up for yourself? How can you be there for yourself? How can you validate yourself and feelings and emotions, okay? We also got here Scorpio. Yeah, maybe you could be attracting Capricorn Scorpio placements in your life. I'm even seeing Taurus or you're going to be channeling those aspects of your chart. But I am seeing with Scorpio, there is a major, major, major transformation coming in your life, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that you've been waiting on, but I'm seeing like you're kind of going to be getting all your manifestations at once okay in love career money i know maybe for a lot of you you could be feeling really down right now like oh my gosh what's going on why am i not manifesting fast enough um trust when i say there is an abundance of manifestations coming your way i am filming this during pisces season and you know there's a lot of things that's going on right now mercury and pisces saturn and pisces it's been a pretty tough time for a lot of people okay um so if you are going through that know that it's going to get better and better and better you have already already endured the worst yeah we also got 11th house yeah now is the time for you to invest in your friendships be around friends be around people who make you feel good okay don't just sit there feeling sorry for yourself go out have fun there's nothing wrong in doing that okay and i feel like you already have a really great community you already have amazing friends that are always there for you that you know want to um you know <laughs> But I say like that want more with you that want to build with you grow with you I'm also seeing some sort of partnerships or business partnerships but yeah this is a time for you to get out and hang out with friends okay um I am seeing that you know there's there, you have a really bright future in front of you and I'm seeing there's so many people who truly love you and support you and care for you okay I'm also sending a loving healing um good vibes through this reading right now you're gonna be okay you're gonna be more than okay you're gonna be manifesting everything that you want it is safe for you to be happy it is safe for you to get everything you want you are worthy of love you are worthy of commitment from who you want it from you are worthy of money abundance you are worthy of your perfect life you know everything in your life is going to be working out perfectly yeah we also got eighth house intimacy yeah so this definitely means a couple of things you know this is about getting intimate with yourself getting to know yourself on a deeper level um than ever before okay this also means like you know strengthening your bond with your current partner or whoever you're dating also um i should have mentioned this in the beginning but with the venus card that could also just mean um you know strengthening your love with your partner like maybe you're going to reach a new level of commitment or enter that new phase with your person okay um yeah i'm just seeing like a lot of love exists between the both of you yeah and this eighth house has to do with like um investments yeah this person okay i'm seeing someone really wants to invest in you invest in this connection i'm also seeing like you making literal investments that are going to be very 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 lucrative we got the eighth house and second house energy i am saying you have a lot of stalkers you have a lot of people that are into you that still keep tabs on you not necessarily in a bad way although this does remind me of you know the evil eye here so do protect your energy and the best way to say that is or to do that is I call my power back to me. I am always in control of my life. Negative thoughts have no power over me in any state of mind, okay? So yeah, this is about just gaining self-control, um, control over, you know, your thoughts and just having power over yourself in every way possible, okay? Yeah, we also got here sixth house of craft. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing you're going to be working on your craft. You're going to be, um, really excelling in that field, whatever it is that you do, you know, and I feel like this is I'm seeing like permanency, whatever you're manifesting, like the good things that you're manifesting, it's going to be here to stay because I do, I am sensing that some of you could have like abandonment issues or wounds, stop identifying with that you are not that person anymore. You're grown, you're in a newer, better level of consciousness, okay, a little bit of tough love here. But I am definitely seeing you're going to be working on your health, mental health, going out and, you know, maybe exercising in the nature, or eating healthier, getting certain supplements, okay. Um, I'm also seeing like daily rituals, you know, figure out a ritual and stick to it. And you will notice a lot of um, good things and positivity and movement coming your way. But definitely put yourself first, put your mental health first, put your overall health first, okay? Um, because I'm seeing there's a lot of abundance coming your way. Just, you know, stick to it. Just have faith in your future. Have faith in, you know, the version of yourself that already has everything you want. You can even use that as an affirmation and your world will be solid. Like, you know, just 
I, I keep hearing the words like gold, like, you know, you're going to be manifesting so much abundance and um, yeah, you're, you're really like shifting into your desired reality right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading right here. I do want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching. And I also custom make subliminals. So if you are interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Love and light.